Hi friends! In this video, I'm going to be explaining the difference between 1, 2, and 3D shapes and objects and how artists use these in their artwork. The word dimension means the measurable size of something and often refers to width, length, and height. A line is considered one-dimensional because it only has length. A shape is considered to be two-dimensional because it has both length and width. Some good examples would be a triangle, a square, a circle, a rectangle. So, something that is 3D, like this cube, has length, width, and height or depth. Examples of something that would be 3D would be a cylinder, a cone, a cube, a sphere, and a pyramid. It's pretty easy to take something that is 2D and turn it into something that is 3D in appearance. This is an example of a house. Typically when you draw a house, you start with a square or a rectangle and put a triangle on top for the roof. And you could add your doors or your windows. But by adding a few extra lines, you now have a house from a different perspective, making it 3D. You gave it more dimensions by adding extra things like length, width, and height all together. Artists are constantly drawing on 2D surfaces and using value to make something look 3D. Here I have a cone, a sphere, and a cube that look more realistic and 3D simply by adding tones of gray and black and white. So that's called value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a hue, which is a fancy word for color. Artists use value in their work for lots of reasons. And the main reason is to make objects that are 2D look 3D. A tint is a color plus white, and a shade is a color plus black. In painting and coloring, that's pretty easy to do. But when drawing in something like pencil or charcoal, it's all about the pressure and adding more or less to a certain area to create that illusion. Sometimes, however, you can get a helping hand by the pencils that you use. Here I have three different pencils, and they're all very, very different. This one here is a normal pencil that you would write with every day. If you've ever wondered what those little numbers on your pencil actually mean, a number two pencil is the hardness of the pencil lead. And that is really important when you're drawing something and you want to show value. An HB pencil, which is a regular number two pencil, is kind of the middle of the road. This pencil here is a 6B pencil. That means the pencil lead is super, super soft, and it makes very, very dark lines when I color with it. On the other end of the spectrum, this one here is a 4H, which means the pencil lead inside is really, really hard, and it makes very light lines when you draw. All of these are great tools that artists use when they're adding value to their 3D shapes. Now, while this wasn't completely a drawing video, I do encourage you to try to use value and shading into your artwork to make it look more realistic. Taking something simple that has one dimension like a line, which only has length, turning it into a shape, which has length and width, so it's two dimensional, and then into something that's 3D that has length, width, and height, or depth. Adding in that final step of that color or even with pencil, you can make something look very realistic. Taking a square and turning it into a cube, or a circle and turning it into a sphere. I hope you have fun with this project, and I cannot wait to see what you create.